system were present when the very first module was launched in 1998. It's been built by NEPTEC in Ottawa. Our astronaut, Steve McLean, explains how it will act as the astronaut's eyes outside the spacecraft. What the vision system does is it provides the control for those manipulators. Now the advantage we have is that with this particular vision system, it allows us to position one module relative to the node to a fraction of an inch and a fraction of a degree so that we can put the mating pieces together and then get all the umbilicals in the right place. We copy. Congratulations to the crew of the good ship Endeavour. That's terrific. When the station is fully assembled, the mobile servicing system and the vision technology will be used to handle incoming and outgoing payloads and to maintain the station over its life cycle. Their real benefit, however, is that they will significantly cut down on the time astronauts have to work outside in the hostile environment of space. But captivating as these images may be, one can never forget this is rocket science. Much of the initial preparation and training for the space station engineers, astronauts and cosmonauts has taken place here at the Johnson Space Center in Houston. Along with crews from around the world, Canadian astronauts practice hands-on in environments that simulate the zero gravity challenges of space. That's Julie Payette in the world's largest pool. Each Canadian Space Agency astronaut has different specialties in medicine, engineering, and in sciences. Some have already flown on the shuttle. Some are currently scheduled to fly. But everyone's a member of a much bigger team. A lot of the experiments that we perform in space, a lot of the tasks we have done have been put together by a team of people. And without that team, the mission would not exist. The astronaut is just the one that executes it. And that team is numerous. For every single astronaut, you will find several thousand people on the ground working toward the mission's success. As well as designing and building the mobile servicing system, Canada also has a project-long commitment to support its operations in orbit and prepare crew members to use it. Both activities will take place at this high-tech operations complex at the Canadian Space Agency in St. Hubert, Quebec. The high-tech training facility uses simulation, virtual reality and 3D environments, as well as advanced multimedia learning techniques. The St. Hubert complex also includes the Space Operations Support Center, with consoles identical to those at NASA Mission Control in Houston. Canadian mission controllers will be able to work in real time with Houston's flight control team to monitor space operations, help with in-flight activities, and diagnose just how well our robotic systems are operating up there. For Canadian business people, researchers and students, the International Space Station presents a unique opportunity. What is it like? My hand. <laughs> Spectacular. You're floating weightless the whole time. And a country like Canada that needs to be able to give its children the chance to realize their dreams. It needs to definitely take care of the problems of today, but it needs to be able to open the doors to tomorrow at the same time. And that's what this is all about keeping Canada on board with the most amazing scientific project the world has ever undertaken. Canadian scientists have a world-renowned history for expertise in space life science. Their work has been recognized throughout the world as leading this new technology. So a lot of what we do in space actually is to turn our instrument and cameras toward our world to better understand how we conduct business right here on this planet which incidentally happens to be the only place we can live so far, our single spaceship. For over 10 years, it will orbit our planet every 90 minutes. The largest science and technology endeavor in peacetime history. Floating high above us, a new star in our night sky.